Mark Maron addressed the elephant in the room of the comedy world on his podcast on Monday, taking a few minutes to talk about the scandal caused by his friend Louis C.K. Speaking for the first 20 minutes of his hour and a half long show, Maron revealed that he had heard the rumors about C.K.'s sexual misbehavior going back several years. But he says when he confronted the stand-up comic about the rumors, C.K. lied to face. Scroll down for video. Mark Maron, left, addressed the scandal involving his friend Louis C.K., right, on his podcast on Monday. There's a lot of concern about who knew what, when, Maron said. Sadly, I knew what most people knew. There was a story out there. Maron said he had heard a rumor about how CK masturbated in front of unnamed people in an Aspen hotel room some years ago. He says he asked CK if the rumor had any merit and his friend told him it was a complete fabrication. I would say, this story about you forcing these women to watch you jerk off, what is that? Is that true? He goes, no it's not true, it's not real, it's a rumor. And I would say, well are you going to address it somehow? What do you do to handle it, to get out from under it whenever it shows up? He goes no I can't deal with it, it'll give it life, it'll give it air. And that was the conversation, Maron recalls. Maron says he tries to side with women in cases like this, but since he did know which women were involved, he chose to believe his friend. I want to believe women. But in this particular instance there was no one named in that story. There was no place for women to go tell this story, there was no women attached to it. I didn't know their names until Friday, so I believe my friend, he said. The New York Times published an expose last week, citing five women who accused CK of sexual harassment over the years. And it turns out Myron did know at least one of the victims, Rebecca Corey, who says CK came up to her on a TV set and asked her if he could masturbate in front of her when the two were working on a show in 2005. Maron then went into a long speech about how men tend to lack empathy with the trials that women face in the workplace. He also recalled a situation he had been in, in college, when a male professor kissed him after taking him out to dinner. Maron looked up to the professor and thought that he was mentoring him, and was left paralyzed after the unwanted kiss. That experience has made Maron emphasize with the scores of women coming forward and accusing CK. Maron gets emotional near the end of the interview, his voice breaking, as he talks about his intention to continue being a friend to CK. I am disappointed in my friend. He did some gross s asterisk asterisk asterisk, some damaging s asterisk asterisk asterisk, and people are like, how are you gonna be friends with that guy? He's my friend now he f asterisk 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 up and he's in big f asterisk 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 trouble, so, well, what am I gonna do? I am just, I am gonna be his friend. What do you want me to do? I mean it's probably the best time to be his friend, when he needs to make changes in his life. I can learn from it, he can learn from it, I hope, Maron said. All right folks, let's do this.